We now turn our focus to the deepening crisis in China's real estate market. Next week, four Chinese developers who have defaulted will face liquidation requests in Hong Kong court. This will be one of the busiest such weeks for this sector ever. Kaisa Group, a name synonymous with China's credit market boom years, is the center of attention as it faces a hearing on Monday. On Wednesday, the Shimao Group will take the stage. Among its notable projects are the five-star hotels in Shanghai. Judges may order the liquidation of company assets to pay off creditors if they do not demonstrate any restructuring of their debt. Hong Kong's High Court has already issued wind-up orders to at least five builders, one of which is the formidable China Evergrande Group. A developer in the wealthy eastern coastal region, Dexin China Holdings was liquidated last week. This comes after two international credit ratings agencies lowered their expectations for China's real estate market. According to S&P Global Ratings, home sales in China will fall 15 percent this year, worse than their previous prediction of five-person loss. The agency said that sales will fall short of 10 trillion yuan, that's about 1.4 trillion dollars, or almost half of what they were in 2021. On Wednesday, Fitch Ratings lowered its yearly sales forecast from 5 to 10 percent to a 15 to 20 percent decline. The pessimistic outlook indicates ratings agencies are skeptic of any boost from the recent stimulus measures announced the bigger than expected decline in property prices is discouraging purchasers. Indeed, home prices values fell by the most in nearly a decade in May. Used home costs saw the sharpest decline in at least 13 years. Real estate accounts for about 78% of household wealth in China, double the U.S. rate.